Hi Cancer, welcome to your September 2019 love reading. It's Raina here. So this is going to be a reading for singles as well as those who are in a relationship. I'm going to try to cover all the bases. Speaking of people who are in a relationship, um, astrological timing, uh, what has been happening? Well, in September, Saturn is going direct in your seventh house. Uh, Saturn has been in your opposite sign, Capricorn, joining the party of Pluto and uh, the South Node. Now, when I say joining the party, actually, uh, Saturn has been in here a couple of years almost. So it's not it's not something that just happened, but the point being that now that Saturn is direct, um, this is a time to really see how your committed relationship, where it's going to take you. Because some of you may have had some real challenges with these types of relationships. And there might, might be a karmic connection to it. Because if I'm not mistaken, at the time of the uh, lunar eclipse in July, the south node was um, in there, you know, was, was close enough to... Um, you know, be part of it. And that's like breaking free from, or it could have been breaking free from a lot of uh, karmic baggage with relationships. And I, I can't help but think of twin flame situations because, um, but maybe that's not a, an appropriate um, example. Because this is more like a, a type of karmic relationship that is not meant to be worked out necessarily. Um, that kind of has, you know, come about because of maybe some of the um, traits within you that you need to strengthen. So, um, you know, because of vulnerabilities, because we all have these weak links in our, you know, um, makeup that just like we have certain you know talents and and um, areas of strength so this is kind of like the aftermath even though this is a couple of months after that um, the fact that Saturn turns direct in September might be some indication of a decision that is being made or perhaps you know, taking a relationship seriously at the very least. Um, maybe you weren't sure if you wanted to work on a on your um, relationship. And there, you know, I'm saying maybe there have been a lot of um, problems with it, but you, you you weren't sure that you wanted to to really even um, invest the energy into it. So maybe now you will decide. So let's see what the cards say here. <laughs> it's so funny, these cars, because it's really going along with a certain scenario. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, well, first of all, um, I do think that some of you have uh, made up your mind, maybe with this uh, Saturn going direct, that you are going to go through with a divorce even. We have the Justice card, which can be involving the courts, and seeking justice too. See the Sword of Truth. Also, the Justice card connects with Libra, which is probably Cancer's go-to air sign, if you're going to be attracted to an air sign, because you're both cardinal signs. So maybe that's showing the type of person that you're involved with, or if even if you're single, you might meet a can, uh, might meet a Libra. Um, for those people who are involved with somebody, there is that sense of you want to kind of like um, even the score in a way. I wouldn't call it like revenge or anything like that, but just that feeling that you were on the. Um, 
you were kind of like um, on the lower end of the justice uh, scale at an earlier date, and now it's your turn to turn the tables. And in the past position, we have the Four of Cups. Now, an alternative interpretation, if you feel like you have gone through a rocky patch in your relationship and things are getting better, is that this is the past. This feeling of one person holding out love to the other and the other person being indifferent and kind of like evening the, um, the balance of the energy that is put out. Uh, sometimes people have a hard time giving and accepting affection and love, but it doesn't mean that they don't care. They have a, an, a blockage. And this can come from past trauma, their own personality makeup that can be kind of no-nonsense and kind of like a little bit embarrassed about um, being touchy-feely or uh, sharing sweet nothings with somebody, you know, they're just not that type of person, but they're a good person. So being able to see that, you know, cancer is a very, can be a very demand, you know, I don't know how you're going to receive this, but can be a very emotionally demanding sign, like wanting that proof that somebody really cares. You really have to put yourself inside of somebody else's psyche. And if you're with somebody who is a little bit, um, you know, subdued in that area, really assess them overall. Do they at least do nice things for you? Do you trust them? Do you think that they would cheat on you? If you can, if you say no, if you feel like uh, that they are, that they do care, they try to um, help you in some way, then it just may be their personality that is, um, not just, you know, just kind of shy to be affectionate. And um, if this is a, um, like a um, divorce situation, what probably happened is that you fell out of love. And, um, or the other person, I guess, which is like, you probably are saying, no, duh, of course somebody fell out of love. Well, the thing is, it's like, Falling out of love can mean that the person is reacting to the basic behavior of the other person. Like, so if you're the one who fell out of love, Cancer, I really don't like that phrase, fell out of love. Like, love is something that is kind of uh, a fad or something like that. But if you feel like your um, feelings have changed towards your partner... It could be like the result of a lot of negative treatment and finally you had enough. I think a lot of cancers are long suffering. So so if I were to you know place a place my bets on something, I would say that if this is you seeking a divorce, that you have tried your best to make something work. And, you know, maybe you were the one that was that kept offering love to this person and they couldn't they couldn't accept it because it's possible they don't love themselves and there's something like dead inside of them. And you just know that you want and deserve more than that. And by the way, um, if you're like somebody who is single, um, this may be a pattern of yours where it's a one-sided relationship where you may even uh, find that the people who fall in love with you or who are trying to, you know, show you their affection are not necessarily the, one, the ones that you are attracted to. But it's very important if that's the case that it isn't one of those things where you can't uh, be with somebody who would, um, you know, what's that, that saying, you know, I can't belong to a club that would have me as a member. Uh, one of those things, because that can definitely be, you know, a possibility. The higher message is the Ten of Pentacles. This is a card of 
um, financial legacy. Uh, sometimes it's like inheritance issues. Um, but because this is a love reading, I wouldn't read it as such. It's funny, though, that the Justice card is there because that could, you know, be like being in court, like probate court. But um, the, the higher message could be that, because this is like in a love relationship, you know, this is somebody to build an empire with. You know, and if you if you feel like you're with somebody that you're not emotionally plugged into, it's very hard to have a family with such a person. To even like like if, let's say you have gone that route already, to kind of be a real family and to watch the grandchildren grow up. It's like there's something missing at a very basic level. Pentacles connect to uh, material matters. So we think of money, we think of possessions. And so, of course, um, this could also be related to that, but this is a spiritual message. If that it has anything to do with it, it'd be, to me, it would be like, watch out for that tendency to try to, you know, like when, when somebody takes the other person to the cleaners, a lot of times I think it's because they want, they, they feel like I want, like, I want justice, right? But I feel it's unfair that that person didn't love me because I love them. I gave everything um, to them. And here they are um, rejecting me, cheating on me, um, or just shutting me out emotionally. Maybe that's what the Four of Cups means for you, means to you. And you feel this sense of unfairness in that because you gave your heart to them. And so to try to extract justice, they, you know, some people use the material possessions, the money or material possessions as a substitute, and it can't be. So, you know, that could be another possibility. You know, you have to you have to take the high road when you're in that type of situation because it can be very easy to lapse into this this whole thing of like I'm going to try to um you know, prove to them and all this stuff. What crosses you is the hierophant, which funny enough can be about marriage. Um, it's about tradition. It's also about, um, you know, like um, just God and and religion. Now, there are there are different possibilities here. One is that um, you may be afraid to actually go through with a divorce because of your religion. And, and that is keeping you from moving on with your life. You're allowing a belief system that may not be in alignment with what you personally are experiencing as being truth, but somebody else's system, maybe something you grew up with, to define you now. And that is keeping you in an unhappy marriage. If you're single, you may feel like you have to um, conform to a certain uh, belief system that doesn't work for you, and that's creating like internal resistance. But really with cancer, which I consider to be one of the more traditional signs, um, I feel like it could be that you do not, that you are old-fashioned and you find that it's very hard as a single person to find a person who respects you, respects your belief system. So your belief system may say, I want to get married. I don't want to live with somebody. Your, your um, belief system may say, I want children, but I'm not going to um, have them first, and then maybe we'll get married, like, you know, when the kid is three years old. Um, so the point is, is that you may feel at odds with other people's 
morals or ethics or what you consider a lack of morals or ethics. So there's something about tradition that you are bucking up against or butting up. Is it butting up against? And either it's like you hold on to certain beliefs, maybe your, your church, your religion, that you can't find somebody who agrees with them or that you are... Um, you don't feel that they represent you anymore, but you still are influenced by them nonetheless. What's coming in is the Three of uh, Cups. This is a card of celebration. So you may be deciding to throw a divorce party or something like that, or just uh, enlisting your friends to help you during this time if you're going through a divorce and you need that kind of um, so, you know, moral support. If you're single, you may meet a potential partner through your social circle. You never know. I think that, you know, thinking about the law of attraction, I think one of the best ways to meet somebody is when you're having a great time. I'm not talking about being necessarily in a bar situation, but any time that you're in a place where you're just having a good time and you're letting go of uh, your worries and you're just laughing, I think that that makes it easier to attract a partner uh, because you're letting go of resistance. When you're tense, when you're, you know, uptight, how, how how can it be easy to just meet somebody under those circumstances? So, yeah. And, but you may have something to celebrate. Let me put it that way. And the outcome, victory. If you're single, maybe it's with a Leo. This is an adjacent sign to you. If you're in a uh, partnership, and um, by the way, if you're in a partnership with somebody and your relationship has been imp improving, um, it may be that you decide to have a girl's night out once a week and that is your way to kind of um, find ways to, to have a life outside of your marriage. Uh, maybe that was the problem that you were too dependent on your significant other to be everything to you and you neglected your friendships and you know other social outlet besides your spouse but the outcome is a very favorable one whatever your uh, relationship status is and wands connect to enthusiasm positivity um, we could even say passion. The number six is connected to the planet Venus. So I could see something good on that level. And yeah, so Cancer um, looks good to me. I hope that you enjoyed this. And of, of course, if you're getting divorced, it looks good for a victory in your <laughs> divorce case. Um, if you'd like a private reading, the link is below. Have a great September. Bye.